Yellow spinner, you're on pen stock, channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today we'll show you how to do half tap and full tap. Basically it is just one trick with a slight difference, so I decided to put them into one video, because they don't deserve just separate video each of them. Tap is another top spin tricks. And also it is one of the easiest tricks in pen spinning, together with new sonic and tipped sonics and charges. But still I have some hints and tips for you to make your learning even easier. The first tip is connected with your pen mod. Using a properly made pen mod will make your pen spinning experience much more efficient and you'll spin your pen with greater joy with using a properly made pen mod. So for top spins I'd recommend you to get Pretty heavy, at least medium weighted pen mods with a good momentum. Today I will show you this trick in Dr. CT, a good pen mod for any level of pen spinners, which you can order from penstock.net with the delivery to any country of the world. So half tap looks like this. Basically you just tap your pen, it makes half of revolution on index and your thumb and return to this position, just like as you were writing something. So to do this trick, place your pen mod like this. One of its caps is on your thumb flap, another side is placed on your middle finger, closer to pen's cap also, or grip. After that, place index like this and move thumb a little bit closer to middle finger. Now when you hold the pen at this position, you need to tap it with your index finger closer to its cap to make it move. By this tapping you need to make pen go on your thumb and your thumb should be under your pen. So tapping should be pretty hard to make pen move and not too hard to make it move like you need it to move. When you tap a pen mode you need to place thumb under it, you need to bend it a little bit more. And when the pen goes on your thumb, when you find the correct time and the correct force to apply to your pen mode to make it spin on your thumb, after that when you see the pen makes this rotation on it, you need to open the gap between thumb and index a little bit and make pen move on this gap and eventually fall on middle finger again. And when it falls on your middle finger, you need to connect index and tab, thumb again. As I told before, it is a very easy trick, so if you can't do it right now, don't get into petty. Just keep on trying and you will get it in no time. Also, you can help yourself to control a pen mode by using your thumb. Because when you tap a pen mode and it goes on your thumb, at approximately this position you can raise a little bit thumb to control your pen and let it move in circle if uh, your force is not enough for pen to spin by itself. If it gets stuck at this position approximately, you can raise your thumb to let it move a little bit. But of course it is better to adjust the force and make the trick correctly. Now I will show you also how to do full tap or just tap. As you can see it is much more difficult than half tap, it is not one of the easiest tricks in pen spinning. And the main, the core difference between them is when you do half tap you do only half of revolution and when you do full tap you can guess you, can, you do full revolution. So again place the pen mode on your middle finger, your index is at pen's cap closer to it and your thumb is like this and then when you tap you curve a little bit your thumb to let pen move on it. You like throw your pen on your thumb. But now you need to make this tapping with a slightly more force than you used to do doing half tap. You tap a pen mode, curve thumb and let pen make full revolution on thumb. or on uh, index and thumb, or on index. 
As it is a top spin, there is some uncontrollable spin, and uh, you can't uh, always control on which finger you will spin a pen mod. Sometimes it will spin on your thumb, sometimes more or on your index finger, and sometimes on both of them. But when you spin a pen mod on both, on your thumb and index finger, you will lose momentum pretty fast. And eventually you will need to help yourself with your thumb as I showed while doing the half tap. So it is always better to spin a pen on a smaller surface, such as knuckle of your thumb, upper or low knuckle, or knuckle, lower knuckle of your index finger. Otherwise, you will need to adjust pen's movement with moving your thumb, and in most cases you will be doing just half tap if you spin the pen on index and thumb. As you can see, by tapping the pen with my index finger, I throw it on my thumb, then I raise thumb a little bit to let pen spin on its knuckle. And after a while, when pen finishes its rotation, it just drops at this gap between thumb and index finger and I just close the gap. You can also help to control the pen mode by using your thumb. When you tap the pen, pen goes on your thumb, you raise it a little bit. And when pen makes this rotation and you notice that it is beginning to slow down, you just raise your thumb and move it a little bit to like move your pen to continue and finish the trick. It is also beneficial if you can control the pen's placement while it's spinning. What I mean is when you tap your pen, it goes on your thumb, and after that, for example, you begin to spin it on the lower knuckle of your index finger. It begins to spin and you can see that it is losing control or it is going to be shifted. You open the gap between your index and thumb and like slow it down a little bit or let it move even further by moving your thumb. So opening this gap between them will be helpful even more than when you're doing a half tap. So again, don't get into petty, just keep on trying and trying and eventually you will be able to do at first half tap, then full tap, then tap continuous. And when you can do it, just leave me a like or comment under this video. You know, I'm always happy to see your feedback and it keeps me motivated. I wish you good luck with all that, may this tell be with you. Bye.